fun. What is going on, everybody? Welcome into our next first look film breakdown video for the quarterbacks for the 2024 NFL Draft. Today, I will be watching Drake May, who, again, just like when I did my Caleb Williams film breakdown, I've seen some broadcasts. In fact, I've seen this game before because it's against my Golden Gophers, who did not win this game. Um, but just the one game in this one, we did two for Caleb Williams, but uh, Drake had a healthy 51 dropbacks in this game. We got a long look at him from this game. So uh, very much looking forward to this. And then I will wrap up after the film with kind of my initial thoughts on Drake May. Please do hit that like button. It really does help me out, helps push this content out to other NFL fans just like you. And make sure you subscribe because we got more of these coming. Uh, I might even do another one on Drake May if you really want a second game in there. Uh, but let's get into it. Okay, play number one here against my Minnesota Golden Gophers. And I'm getting PTSD here watching uh, from watching Sam Howell film, which was just RPO after RPO. I'm really hoping that's not the case here with Drake May. I'm certainly not expecting it. Uh, but it is clearly still a staple of their offense. Nice little RPO. Suck the linebackers in. Bing, bada, boom. And we got third down here, and I'm getting PTSD on this next play because Sam Howell had such bad pass protection at UNC. Uh, very pro-level concept here. We're just going to get a levels read. They're actually going to read number one here just to kind of see what kind of separation he gets there. And then Sam's going to quickly work to his backside on this progression. The Gophers rotate into cover three, and he does get to that backside read. But before the receiver even begins his break, Howell's got pressure in his face. And he gets into play extension mode. So I like what Howell does here. That's basically anything and everything you would expect a pro-level quarterback to do here. He's reading out his progressions. He's not zeroing in on his first read. He senses the rush, gets out of the pocket, and then that sets up the opportunity to run the QB sneak here, which looks like they convert. Next down here, they're going to do a little shot play on first down. And the Gophers send the heat off coverage very quickly, goes to his one. And that is a very accurate ball to the outside. Perfect placement, great accuracy there by May. It looks like the receiver actually drops that. Then they end up running a screen on second down, goes nowhere. So third and long. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay, Drake May. I like it. So it looks like quarters coverage from the Gophers. This guy's got permission to lurk down here, which is going to leave one-on-one -on, -one on this side. Love how he senses the rush there, steps up. And let's take a second look at the ball placement here. Do they, they do convert on the touchdown, by the way. But let's see the ball placement throw on the run. Yeah, pretty damn good, man. You could argue slightly behind him, but at least got it out in front of the DB. I mean, that's... That's everything you want to see from a pro-style quarterback, right? Beating quarters coverage. He's going to see a lot of that in the NFL. Beautiful. Next drive, we've got second and eight. Pre-snap quarters look from the Gophers. Post-snap quarters. Early scramble there. Looked like he might have had a little bit more of a pocket to stay in there. But let's go back to the point where he decides to run. So he reads out the coverage, top of his drop. Everyone's going deep. And against quarters, that's going to be tough. He does have this comeback or working, you know, maybe maybe some of the quarterbacks in the NFL stand in there and throw the comebacker, but cross hash, college hashes are wider than NFL hashes. That's a hell of a throw. I don't mind his decision to roll out and extend this play. In terms of the decision making, he ends up throwing it away. I'm fine with that from, from May. There wasn't a lot there. But then on third down, love what Drake May does here. Gophers rotating out of a blitz look. And very clear, you know, pre-snap, single high look here. Some form of cover three, maybe cover one. But the second this guy starts moving, Drake May knows that that's going to be some wide open space right there. And he just says, let's not overthink this. Let's snap the ball and fire it in there. Nice, nice post-snap processing there. This next one's borderline. A couple plays ago, we talked about him not pulling the trigger on that deep out from the opposite hash. He does that again on this one, but this time there was pressure in his face. So it's borderline to say, you know, the receiver is a little bit early in his route here. The pressure gets in. Um, I, I understand what Drake May is doing there, so I'm not going to put that on him. Um, 
you know, that's just offensive line getting beat. And nothing against Drake May on that one. Uh, in fact, I like his ability to sense the pressure and, and turn it into something. Then we get a little third and five here. And I just, I love how quickly he works through this thing. Reads the right on his way to the top of his drop. Knows there's nothing there. Gets his head around to the second read there. Still sees nothing. So he has already read out this thing by the time he hits kind of the top of his drop. Ideally, you want that foot to be more pointing um, you know, he opens up a little bit early there, but I love the way he's using his eyes in the drop back here and then makes that decision to turn and run. Unleashes athleticism. You can see he's got, you know, very practical athleticism to outrun and, and get the corner and get that first down. That'll play at the next level. I would say so far we're just getting a very pro style quarterback here. And here's another one. Uh, just a classic smash concept. High low in this thing. Reading the, the leverage of the, the perimeter defender. It ends up being cover two here and hits the honey hole. I mean, that's money right there. That's a that's a classic NFL read. A cover two beater gets the right call from the coordinator. An excellent execution uh, on the read and the throw here from Drake May on the money. Love it. We do end up in a little third and long situation here. Gophers bring the heat. You know, cover one blitz across the board. And I just don't love the play call. You got everybody running vertical. You don't have any easy answers here. Nowhere for May to go with the football. A good rush by Minnesota and nothing May can do on that one. Second and medium on this next one. And we're going to end up getting cover six, which is going to be cover four on this side. Cover two on this side with this flat defender here. And they're going to be running this guy up into the honey hole. And then everybody else is running stop routes, hitch routes. And I think May gets through this one a little bit slow. He's thinking about the honey hole here. Um, it is kind of a, a pre-snap cover two look, but let's let's watch this thing. You can see he just he hesitates a little bit. This safety, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna run this guy to try to beat cover two, I'd rather this guy be running an out route because then you're gonna put this corner in a bind. But the corner is able to kind of you know, drift with this thing. And I, I just, I wish May came off this a little bit sooner. He does the pump fake, the extra hitch, and then he gets into improv mode. And, you know, I think you would want to see him from a pro quarterback perspective, look this off and then take a hitch and read these guys out. Both these guys are open. Both had great pre-snap leverage, uh, could have pulled the trigger there. So that's probably the first honest knock on drake may from a pro evaluation standpoint he turns it into something though he, he lets his you know he's one of these quarterbacks it seems that one, when his processing isn't correct he can make up for it a lot of times with his his improvisational ability uh, and great play by the back to turn that into first down just a little play action boot no one's open gets five yards out of it this next play is going to be an example of a 60-yard completion that I actually don't love from Drake May. Obviously, just horrible defense by the Gophers here. They end up in a three-man rush and bust the coverage on the back end. Someone's obviously got to pick this guy up. They were scrambling pre-snap. But just look how long Drake May hangs on this first read here. He takes probably two extra hitches. And then he ends up having to reset his feet. He sees it late. Obviously, it works because the defense is just so bad here. But the throw is actually underthrown as well. If he just right there says, okay, that's not there. Let's see what's going on in the backside of the play. Resets his feet, points his foot in the right direction, fires it. We saw he would have hit his guy in stride. And uh, you end up not having to make this so difficult on the receiver. He ends up actually getting tackled at about the one and a half yard line. Uh, so I actually would say that's a little bit first reedy and a little bit slow from Drake May. And when I say first reedy, I just mean he's hanging on his first read too long. Um, so this is an interesting play here. I'm going to pause it right here. They're going to run just a quick hitch here. May is going to check it, and then they have this guy down blocking, and then they're going to boot May out and turn it into kind of a play-action boot type of situation. So he gets on the boot. And then when he pulls the trigger here, I see why he throws this. 
but it actually gets intercepted. So let's see the throw. Yeah, a little flat on the throw. A great play by this defender to peel off of it, come back. Um, but I do think the throw was just a little bit flat. I think you need a little bit more arc on that thing. So just a learning moment there. Hopefully he can um, get a little more touch on that thing, but obviously not what you want to see. So we're actually starting to see some, some holes in his game here. Uh, this is an RPO here. You can tell by the blocking. You got a combo block working up here, and he does go downfield. So um, this is an RPO, but with all that pre-snap space, that's just good execution on the RPO. Uh, get it out there for a nice completion. Don't need to spend too much time on this next one. Just reading the leverage of those zone defenders. Quick decision with the edge player rotating back. He knows there's going to be some space there. And uh, for the second time this game, he just takes, takes what's there. All right, we get a little play action shot on second and medium. Probably could have pulled the trigger. He's got some juice though now. I mean, a couple guys missed, outran some angles. Uh, but yeah, at the top of his drop here, that is his read running a post. There's probably some space to lay that thing in the middle there. Um, you'll take what he does, but he does pass up a potential NFL throw there. Second and seven, we got another vertical play action kind of shot play here. Um, he wants to hit this hitch. It looks like he throws this late, but I do think the rush kind of made him double clutch this thing, and, and that's reasonable. Um, so I, I like the way he plays that out. Good good execution, good, good throw. It does bring them to third and one. And, you know, I'm not trying to take anything away from Drake May, but they're going to run play action here. This guy's going to run to the flat. And it's just, there's just so much space here, right? Like, this isn't even really reading anything. It's just like, let's check the linebacker, and you got a, you know, two-on-one here. It's it's just, you know, it's like running a fast break in basketball. It's almost too easy. Uh, so, good, good execution, I guess, but that doesn't do much for me. We do end up first and 20, probably after a holding call here. And just the middle of the field read here by Drake May. And the ball gets deflected. I think he probably had him if we pause at his throw. That's not on camera, unfortunately. But he probably had him. Trying to throw a zinger, you know, right right in there. I think it's a good read. It just gets deflected. And that's it's going to happen. I don't think that one's particularly on him. Uh, so I would, I would actually say the process on that one was pretty good. And it looked like it was going to be a good throw. You can never assume. But... Um, yeah, nice, nice middle of the field, uh, field read thrown into a zone with some anticipation. All right, it's third and long here, and I'm really hoping this is the last time the Gophers show a bunch of dudes at the line of scrimmage and then act like they can drop into a zone and confuse Drake May because he's just seeing these guys drop, but taking what's there. I mean, this is just too much space. It's too easy. It's just, it's just bad defense. I don't even want to give Drake May that much credit on that one, but... Um, good quick trigger. All right, we are going to get an interception on this one. We got a deep comeback here by number two. And Drake May probably isn't going to get too much blame for this one, but I think you can put a little bit on him. I think he throws it maybe a half a step late. Uh, the left tackle gets beat really bad. He gets hit while he's thrown. And then, of, of course, unlucky that it ends up in the, in the DB's hands. But I do think right there he's ready to throw he's stepping into it but he doesn't pull the trigger in the nfl throw the ball right there throw this thing with timing and anticipation you're not going to get all day to throw in the nfl but you know he's a true junior I, i'm not going to slam him for it i just would want that to be sped up ever so slightly but obviously the majority of the blame on this one goes to 61 there who's standing there waving his arms after getting worked so remember earlier they ran that play where this guy was running a stop route, this guy was running a go ball, and they were going to read the leverage of this defender against uh, two shell here. Well, this time they they run the play they should that I was asking for, a little out and up. And we're just going to read this out, see if you get quarters. If you get quarters, you're going to throw this. If you get cover two, take a look at that whole shot. And uh, they end up getting quarters, and Drake May hits the flat. Maybe an extra clutch there. One clutch, two clutch. Second guessing it a little bit, but he gets it there. He gets it there. 
This angle will be even better. You can just see a little hesitation there. No reason to hesitate. It was there. Uh, Might have set your receiver up um, a little bit cleaner with some run after catch if he has the ball here instead of here. It's these subtle timing things that actually make a huge difference that he'll learn in the NFL. This next play might be my favorite of the day so far because he's doing a couple things differently that we are criticizing him for earlier. Hits the deep post there. So the first thing he's doing differently, not staring down this go ball on the outside. Remember that big completion they had earlier on that coverage bust. He just hung on uh, this guy up here a little bit too long. Um, but the other thing he's doing here is he's throwing this post into the space of the defense uh, remember that other play action shot play where he didn't pull the trigger and scrambled? This is almost the exact same throw, same coverage. This time he pulls the trigger on it um, onto his second read. That's a beautiful big time NFL play on a huge plus for May. RPO, very simple. Then we're going to have one of those fake screens, wheel routes. Love it, man. That's great execution off a great play call. They've been setting these up all game. And then at the perfect time, they call it. Great throw from May there. Take a look at this angle. Good pump fake. On the money. Tutty. North Carolina. They, they learned some things. Trying to get this guy going on a hitch route earlier in the game. No need. Just go out and up. Same exact play here. If it's cover four, throw the out route. It's cover two. Look at the honey hole. Reads it quicker this time. No double clutch. A little bit of in-game learning there from, from Drake May. Very nice. Nice little play action. Not a boot, but the pressure gets in. He rolls out. Hits his comebacker. It's good play. I mean, he definitely can feel the rush and get out of it. I just like the way he manages that. There was no boot action there at all. That was just him using his feet to reset the platform and convert. And very similar process on this one where he's got a bail out. I like the the ability to sense pressure, the ability to get out, but the shoestring tackle, just not quite as fast as he needed to be there. Wow, that was tight. Uh, there's no way to know what he would have done if he didn't get sacked there, but I do like the pocket presence and uh, trying to turn that into something. Just so close. Here we're going to get a little play action shot play. They're going to try to suck. They've been getting a lot of quarters here, so they're trying to suck this guy in, get a one-on-one -on -one deep. They do. So the correct read here from Drake May, excellent pass protection, not so excellent separation by the receiver. May throws what looks like a pretty good ball there. This angle will be more telling. Yeah, I mean, that's a great ball. Receivers just got to win, right? You're drawing up a shot for him, and uh, he doesn't convert. So uh, that's a great deep ball placement from May. North Carolina is really dialing up a lot of these deep play action shots in this game. And, man, um... I would prefer that he hits that throw, obviously. It's wide open. It's his first read on the play. And he just obviously has a hurried release. Um, but under pressure there, he does kind of miss. Um, no, no way around it, right? It, you don't slam him for it. It's a challenging throw, about to get hit under pressure. NFL quarterbacks do make those types of throws, though, right? Not going to say he should have had it. Certainly could have had it, would be my analysis on that. Again, just going to play into the space of the zone defense here for Minnesota. A um, little bit of a look at the arm strength here from Drake May. Kind of stepping into it, really trying to rip it in there. Just get one more angle here. You know, good velocity. I, I, I'm thinking right now, like, B-plus arm. I don't see a cannon on this player. Although this next throw might be a better look at it. A little bit more zip on it that time. Maybe get, getting us up to an A-minus arm. Um, again, just starting to throw this out route with a little bit more urgency and efficiency from, from May uh, after being a little bit more hesitant on it earlier in the game. So I like that in-game kind of adjustment 
they're giving us this throw. Let's take it when it's there, and and he does it. This time it's uh, it's not cover four. This is. I mean, it, it is arguably cover four, actually. Um, obviously, you've got press on this side of the field, but if this were cover three, this safety would be hanging out here a little bit more. I think this guy's actually matching this guy. This guy's running a curl flat. You got match principles here. This this could, could you could argue this is cover four. Um, college coverages can be challenging sometimes, but either way, Drake May, I like it. Man, I feel like we're getting a lot of in-game learning here from Drake May. This is that same throw. The post route, play action shot, throws it away from that safety. Um, you could say, hey, this guy busted his coverage, but hey, you've got your first read open. You throw it, you complete it. I'm not going to blame you for not coming off that and seeing a busted coverage on the backside. But, you know, he's throwing this on time. He's throwing it under pressure we saw him short arm that other one in kind of a similar situation um, but that one's on the money it's a big nfl throw right there shows a good good arm talent on that you know i'm thinking a minus arm on drake may right now we get another play action shot play here a good blitz by the gophers kind of throws him off time here he ends up throwing it away so this one's interesting um you know, blitzing defensive back, you step up. I think he's right to scramble there. I'd almost prefer he rolls to the to the left here, but I get it. He, he doesn't know necessarily what these guys are, are up to. So I agree with the scrambling decision. Um, you might say, hey, this guy, this guy got a step on his deep fade. Well, uh, May is reading this side of the field. So, uh, you know, you understand why he doesn't pull the trigger on any of this. You understand why he scrambles gets it away before he gets sacked. I, I think that's everything you could ask him to do on that play. So I love the aggressiveness. We got second down. They're up eight. Fourth quarter. And they're still taking, you know, one-on-one -on -one shots to the outside. This is uh, as clear of a read as you can get. Very clear picture of, of cover one. I mean, these guys are clearly all manned up. Man, 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 you, you know, you name it. No disguise here, no rotation, very clear one-on-one -on -one picture. So May is going to count on his guy to win. And he's going to lay that ball out there. You know, could it have been a little bit more inside to give him a little bit more of a chance? Yes. But, you know, the situation, I think when you see a receiver not winning there, I'm fine with him really just laying a little, like an extra foot out in front, say it can't be an interception here. Play it a little bit safe, basically a safe throw away from Drake May here because uh, the last thing you can have there is the DB gets his head around and intercepts it and they get the ball back in a one-score game. You're in field goal range. Don't make any mistakes. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. The receiver just didn't win. And then he got third and 10 on the next play, and they end up throwing this basically a very similar throw um he and, and a similar decision where he's just laying it this one very much a throwaway like he is living for the field goal on this one i you know in a tighter game in a different situation or earlier in the game i would say let's let's try to find a better look here uh maybe enter scramble mode check the backside read but given the fact that it is a six-man rush, he doesn't want to get sacked or, you know, get hit while he's thrown like he was earlier or get strip sacked. You, you're just playing to not make mistakes here. They haven't a, a chance to go up 11 here with like 10 minutes to play. So I think when you consider the situational uh, play here, you're fine with him basically just throwing this ball away. Um, there wasn't a ton else left you know, you're not going to throw that slant. That was covered up. And I get why he doesn't read the second half of the field, knowing that it's a six-man rush, right? So uh, it wouldn't be a positive play for Drake May, uh, but I don't think I would give him a negative on this one either. This one's really nice. First read, all covered up, gets into play extension of the backside, and then just a great chemistry ball working the sideline there. I mean, that's just very, very pro-level NFL type of quarterbacking right there. That will absolutely play at the next level. Is the throw off though? 
it's a little bit too far out of bounds. A little bit off. He hasn't had much accuracy issues today, but um, definitely want that one. It's hard to see. It's very fuzzy, but you want that a little bit more on his chest. But it looks like they looks like they got it. Classic game of inches thing on this next play. I think the rush gets in at the exact right moment for the Gophers. Like right there, I would say, is when you want him to start scrambling. And look what happens on the side of the field that he was reading. The DB falls over. But uh, I do think Drake May does a good job sensing this rush. Again, two-score lead, trying to protect it, just throws it away. There wasn't anything else there. I'm fine with everything he does on that play. Third and forever here. They're really not thinking aggressive here at all in the situation, but I, and, and I wouldn't even knock them on it just because of the situational football, but it is something to keep in, in the back of our minds for when we're watching the rest of his games. Just a little bit, you know, too, too dancy in the pocket there. I think you got a clean pocket. There's no reason to panic. Your check down's not going anywhere. You know, let's, Let's see what's going on over here, or let's get out of the pocket, or let's do, you know, and I just, checking this football down is, is basically a punt, uh, or accepting that you're going to punt, and in that situation, I understand why he's thinking that, but, you know, just a little dancy in the pocket, just an observation, and he really is playing this thing conservative with the lead here, um, pulls this thing from the RPO, and then second guesses himself. You know, if you're going to pull that thing from the RPO, I, I, I want you to rip it. I want you to be ready to rip it. He's not. Otherwise, just hand it off. But, you know, he, he pulls it in, turns it into a nice little three-yard gain. That's fine. This next one's just awesome, and I love staying aggressive. They've gotten very conservative here. There's still like 10 minutes left in this ball game, and they're going to go with a play-action shot, and Drake May... Couldn't have, couldn't have done anything better on this play. He trusts his protection. Great route by the wide receiver. He knows exactly who he's reading. And he drops a dime to the sideline. Beautiful. Second and ten. Same drive. I'm going to read the trip side. Nothing was there. The pressure did get in. And really good play extension. He ends up getting eight yards on this can see why he was forced out of the pocket there, right there. Good reactionary quickness, good athleticism. A lot of NFL quarterbacking going on here. This can be our last play here, third and forever. They bring the heat. And, you know, I think he knows he doesn't have a very good answer to this one. So just takes off and runs. Makes the field goal a little bit easier. And that's our game. So obviously in terms of a first game watched here on Drake May, you got to be impressed. I really like what I saw here. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect. There was some moments where he was a little bit hesitant, also a little bit glued in on his first reads at times, just a millisecond too slow on some reads and some decisions. But those were kind of brushed aside by a handful of really good NFL reads, really good throws, really good NFL throws. The play extension and the pocket sense and the athleticism is no doubt that's going to play at the next level. And I loved some of the in-game learning we saw too. Um, you know, we talked a lot about those out and out up concepts. He was throwing those with more anticipation, throwing those, you know, deep posts away from the coverage defender into the space of the defense it's like someone showed that to him on the tablet and said hey if you get this leverage just lay that inside a little bit you can hit that throw I know you can and he hit it twice after he decided not to pull the trigger so uh, a lot of in-game learning I'm excited to get through his whole season at some point here and uh, get later into his season too and see like what is the full Drake May package going to look like? Because this was week three, right? So he still has a full junior season to go here to, to learn a lot of this stuff and look less like a rookie, so to speak. But I'm very encouraged. At this point in time, I mean, I would probably take Caleb over Drake May, just where we're sitting right now. 
um, just because I think the tools are better and, I, you know, it's not like we saw perfection from Drake May in terms of processing and decision making, but um, I do think it's going to be pretty tight and it's going to be a fascinating process. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Certainly some more draft film breakdowns here to come. Um, and then, of course, draft season itself is just about here in about a month when we get into mock drafts, position rankings, all that stuff. So do make sure you're subscribed for when that all gets here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>